Hi, welcome to Mark's Basement Arcade. Today we are going to go over cleaning Jones plugs. These are very easy to clean. What we're going to be just using is a Scotch Brite pad. And I usually hold them on the side like this and you just go over them lightly like that. You notice they're starting to clean up already. So I get that a little closer. So all you do, get these clean because these need a plug in a machine. These are the playfield ones. These connect the playfield to the relay board on the bottom of the pinball machine. These will make all your pop bumpers pop, your flippers flip, your lights work. So these all got to be clean in order to do their job. Let's flip it over so you can see the difference from that to that. All nice and clean again. But yeah, that's basically it. Just go back and forth. Nice. Get all the corrosion off. I can actually smell the corrosion because it's coming off in a little powder. I can smell it a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but when I first start cleaning it, you can see the um, powder coming off. That's how you clean a Jones plug. It's really not that hard. I usually, usually don't clean the um, part that the Jones plug plugs into. It's because those um, actually scrape this on the way down as you plug them in. So um, they usually kind of, the inside part that these connect to usually will clean their self. You can go in between here like this. Clean the insides. So all I'm doing is going back and forth. But um, the Jones plug the the female and um, just scrapes on it. I'll, actually, I'll show you. I'll show you on the back box. Let me take this off, and we'll go look at one. You can actually see right, let me get the focus. It, um, it, it's kind of like pinched right there, right here on both sides. And it squeezes as the um, Jones plug goes in and out. Um, let me see if I can show you one. Oh, that powder dust is nasty. So you might want to wear a mask or have a fan blowing on you. But you can see right where they get close. So once you push the plug in the rest of the way, it will spread both sides of this and that's how it gets contact. So you just want to make sure you get that connected all the way and then it will contact a little bit back there. But that's about it for really cleaning Jones, Jones plugs. So I'm going to take this back out because I'm going to clean them bad boys up. You can um, get yourself like a little very small tiny wire brush and um, just run it in out of here kind of like a pipe cleaner. But pipe cleaner will not clean it. But they do smell. Uh, they smell. They do sell real tiny little wire brushes you can just go in, in and out but you want to make sure it's small enough where it's not going to bend all these contacts because you don't want to do that. So I'm going to go back to cleaning that and we're going to clean the sides of it. So we can get this all nice and working again. I'm not going to um, do all of them in front of the camera because as you can see with just one you know 
how it works. This is just a regular green um, 3M scrubbing pad. That's all it is. Nothing special. I don't use any chemicals on it. No WD-40 to lubricate it when you put it back in or any dielectric grease. It's, it just it goes in plain and dry. These have been in the machine, you know, since 1972, and there's never been any type of um, grease in them to connect it to the machine, and it doesn't need it. These just, usually once you put the machine on location, these will never come out until you take the machine out of location. Or when you take it out of somebody else's basement, and you put it in your basement. So... Getting these all nice and cleaned up. Get this last site here. And then we'll get that side. Get out all nice new clean Jones plugs. And that's how you do it. That's all you gotta do for cleaning. You can go over it real close again to see if you can see any other more tarnished areas that you need to work over a little bit. But yeah, that's about it. You can clean the middle here if you really want to. I'll do that. I'm gonna have to get a new um, 3M pad because this one's getting a little raggedy. It's getting just a little too beat up where it's catching on everything. I might just try it like this. And that works pretty good. Alright, and that's about it for cleaning Jones plugs. And once that's all cleaned up real good, plug it back in your machine. Everything should just work a little better because it's clean. The lights might be a little brighter, everything it might have a little more action to it. It just keeps your machine in tip-top shape. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe to our YouTube page. Check us out at Facebook at Mark's Basement Arcade. And thank you very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up and share it, please. Thank you.